Hello, everyone. This is uh, our latest edition of the blog, the Unity blog. And we are at the very end of October, beginning of November. This is the November blog that we're recording. Recently, of course, we've had the change of time, the end of summertime, and it really feels a little bit different with those uh, darker evenings. Uh, and that sort of links us straight away with Advent, because Advent, of course, is all about the darkness and the sense of a light coming at the end of the darkness with the birth of Jesus and um, and all that that means. This year, we, we're uh, advertising our Advent booklet, um, which every year we, we have the Advent <laughs> booklet. There it is, uh, which is free for to subscribers and a, and, a, and a modest amount for those that are not subscribers. Um, and I think there's something interesting this year in the in the theme that's being taken up in the Advent booklet. Be not afraid is the um, is the heading is the title. Sounds slightly um, moody, um, slightly uh, a sense that we need comfort. And, you know, as the evenings are getting longer and the darkness is getting longer we need that light more and more and maybe also in the context of the world in which we live but enough of me um over to you kimri uh, to perhaps talk more about that or wh whatever you want to say about um the advent booklet and other things thank you steve yes it's um be not afraid and it is the comfort of christmas that's that is the theme i think of the book there's actually it, it made me smile a little bit because it talks about on the opening page of the booklet that the angels appeared in front of the shepherds with this amazing message of hope and joy and glory. But as it says in, in here, you know, who wouldn't be a little startled <laughs> an angel suddenly appearing? I can only imagine what that would be like. And yet they stepped forward, they did the journey, they followed through and had that faith to, to what is this all about, what's happening? So life is a bit scary at the moment. There is so much going on. We, we don't feel like we're in control of it and we're not in control of it at that human level. But there is a sense of presence, of comfort, of love and power and strength and peace within us that we can turn to and to enhance our experiences and then to live as that energy in the world and be that message that we, we talk about to be the experience, the presence of love and peace and joy and faith. And that's what the Advent booklet does. It takes us through those themes day by day with lovely readings and messages of support. There's always an affirmation, a Bible quote, and there's some lovely articles in the booklet as well. So that we've got all of this in stock now. It's come nice and early. So we're inviting everybody to order your booklet. Um, you can do that by calling the office or online via the website and really engage with us in that process that journey of advent because of course through advent each morning in our daily word service as many of you will already know we will be reading the the day's reflection both from daily word and from the advent booklet and that's really become a part of our tradition in in the last few years mm. and that's an important um, progression through through the advent period leading up of course to christmas mm. we also have the calendar well, before we move to the calendar, right. before we move to the calendar, okay. it's just to remind everybody as well that we do do an evening meditation throughout Advent too. We take that same message sure. of that day and spend half an hour reflecting on it in the evening, mm. so that you, we can spend more time personally with what the message means for us. Because that's the point of this. It's not what about somebody else thinks or what somebody else is doing. It's what does this message mean to me? How can I live this in my life? That's what's transformative. Mm. But yes, the calendar. Yeah, just we, have we just happen to have it in your Oh, life. yes. <laughs> oh, just happen to have it. Um, and this has come really nice and early. So these are wonderful gifts to give to people. There's lovely pictures in here. I'm just going to show you some of these in here. They are of Unity Village, very seasonal, but they could be anywhere. Mm. And the flowers are gorgeous and the messages are lovely. I am blessed is the message for April with the fountains and the flowers. I am blessed beyond measure. 
And then there's the Bible quote from Ezekiel, I will make them a blessing, they shall not they shall be showers of blessing. Mm -hmm. So there's lovely messages, lovely pictures, space to put your appointments in. I use these a lot for my appointments. It's what I carry mm -hmm. around with me in my handbag. If I go anywhere, it's like let me get my calendar out. And this is what I use as and my great, go to great Christmas Christmas gift. It is, absolutely. It'll, you know, be to your neighbor or you know, your auntie or your cousin. Um, and so, you know, we get some people who, who who order 10 or a dozen, you know, to give to various people in the family. Because, of course, it's it's four pounds, just under four pounds, including postage. So that means you could, you know, give it to a few people and not be too um, uh, impoverished in the process. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Anything else we need to say? Well, I think we'll make that the theme for today. I think it's probably us talking enough, don't yeah, you? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for listening to all of this, and it hopes that has inspired you to to look forward toward the Advent season and to embrace it and 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 be with us along the way. Yeah. So thanks very much. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, everyone. Bless you.